Yeah, so did you know that Hercules and Percy Jackson are actually not very lore accurate to Greek mythology? And if you didn't know that, well, I'm here to kind of ruin your childhood. And we're going to start with that with the House of Atreus. Now, House of Atreus starts with its founder, Tantalus. Tantalus was the son of Zeus and the nymph Pluto. See, Tantalus had this plan to test the god's omniscience. His plan was to kill his son Pelops and put him into a bowl of stew and feed him to the gods to see if they would be tricked. Now, of course, the gods weren't actually tricked. They saw through this quite easily, except for Demeter. Demeter was still upset over her missing daughter Persephone and ended up eating Pelops' shoulder. Zeus, obviously enraged that Tantalus would even try to trick him, decided to send Tantalus down to Tartarus to punish him for his misdeeds. So after Zeus sent Tantalus to Tartarus, he brought Pelops back to life. He asked Hephaestus to build Pelops a brand new shoulder and one made of bronze. After Pelops was brought back to life, Poseidon soon fell in love with him and gave him a divine chariot after some quality alone time. Meanwhile, back on Earth, King Anomaeus was offering his daughter's hand in marriage to anyone who could beat him in a chariot race. Pelops, with both his godly advantage and some further shenanigans, won. After his victory, King Anomaeus died, cursing Pelops and his future generations to come. Pelops and his new wife bore multiple children, where we'll be focusing on the main wonder brothers themselves, Atreus and Thyestes. Atreus and Thyestes were soon banished from their home after killing their brother, who was supposed to be next in line for the kingdom. After being banished from their home, Atreus and Thyestes went to Mycenae, where their nephew, the current king of Mycenae, would soon perish in battle. Thyestes and Atreus would fight to see who would become the next king, and after a bit of family feud, Thyestes would have Atreus' wife, who he was having an affair with, betray Atreus. However, this didn't stop Atreus, as Atreus had the gods on his side. The gods, with a little bit of godly magic, managed to make Atreus win, and Atreus became the new king. So after winning the throne, it wouldn't be too long until Atreus would learn about his wife's betrayal. He was soon told of the affair his wife was having with his own brother, and to get back at Thaestes, he invited him over for dinner. Now, what was on the menu? It was, well, Thaestes' own sons. And Thaestes was even offered seconds before he was soon banished from the castle itself. Now, rightfully angered by what his brother had done in order to get revenge, Thaestes sought out an oracle in order to learn about his own way to get revenge. So from here on out, there will be a content warning. Uh, please skip to this timestamp if you do not wish to hear about it. Just three, two, one. So Thaestes was told by the Oracle that the only way for him to get his own revenge was for him to rape his own daughter, Pelopia. After proceeding with the heinous act, Pelopia would soon bear a son, Aegisthus. Pelopia and Aegisthus ran to Mycenae to which Atreus fell in love with Pelopia without knowing the family relations they had. They started a family, and they themselves bore the children Agamemnon and Menelaus. However, paranoid about what his brother may plan, Atreus sent his two sons, Agamemnon and Menelaus, to go find Thaestes. The two children managed to capture Thaestes and brought him back to the kingdom. After locking him up, Atreus ordered Aegisthus to kill Thaestes. And in a very Star Wars-esque fashion, Thaisius revealed to Aegisthus that he is actually his father and pulled the whole Uno reverse card on the whole situation. So now knowing the truth, Aegisthus then went to Atreus and actually ended up killing Atreus, where Thaisius would then claim the throne. However, in true fashion with his family, Thaisius did not hold on to the throne for long. Agamemnon came back and he won the throne from Thaisius and then banished Thaisius from the kingdom. Again, from there on out, Agamemnon and his brother went off to fight in the Trojan War after Menelaus' wife Helen was kidnapped by Paris, and that's kind of a whole nother story that I do not have time to cover. Although it is important to note that while Agamemnon was out on the battlefield, his wife was having an affair with Aegisthus. Once the battle was over, Agamemnon came back home, where his wife and her lover would soon kill him in his own bathtub. Agamemnon had a son, Aristes, though. And Aristes sought revenge, so he committed matricide in whatever aside against Aegisthus. However, after this, he got a very, very good lawyer and sought for counsel, and the counsel actually found him not guilty for his crimes, thus ending the tragic curse of the House of Atreus. Now, I wasn't able to cover everything with the House of Atreus, as it does have a rather long history and story behind it. However, if you are interested in learning more about it, please check the links down below. Now, I hope you have a wonderful day, and make sure the next time someone offers you some stew, you ask what's in it first.